Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Mr. Dioro Pemberton, a director of the Department of Physical Planning and Environment in the Nevis Island Administration, says for 2021, the department will continue to engage in a program of efficiency as it seeks to ensure timeliness in its assessment approval process. Mr. Pemberton, who was appointed to head the department in September 2020, made the comment while speaking with the Department of Information about his department's plans for the year, stating the Department of Physical Planning and Environment plays a critical role in our national development and as such we are continually engaged in a program of efficiency to guide a sustainable physical development as a key factor to sustainable economic and financial prosperity for Nevis and all divisions. For this reason, we aim to undertake our duties diligently and professionally to ensure timeliness in our assessment approval process. The director outlined key areas in which the department hopes to make headway during the year, including legislation for governing protected areas on Nevis, which aims to sustainably manage the natural resources and rich biodiversity by protecting its forest, inland waters, coastal coastal and marine areas. Under this legislation, any building development above the 1,000 feet contour is prohibited. Expectation applies for existing communities. Other development activities such as agricultural, animal husbandry and recreational are stringently managed for sensitive areas of the camps, river watershed, bogs and other environmentally sensitive areas. Mr. Pemberton also spoke of plans to revise Advise and obtain cabinet's approval for the Nevis Physical Development Plan. The department will also engage in conducting training sessions with various sectors, including service providers, architects, plumbers, and contractors. Here now is a media release from the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs. The Alexandra Hospital within the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs has introduced a dedicated emergency number to access the ambulance service. This number is 469-3333. The general public is asked to call 469-3333 in the event of medical emergencies which can include loss of consciousness, sudden inability to move or speak, sudden confusion, seizures that are not stopping, pain in the chest, difficulty breathing, severe bleeding that is not stopping, severe allergic reactions, severe burns and skulls, and other forms of injury. The 469-3333 line is available 24-7 and will connect you directly to an emergency personnel in the emergency room by passing the switchboard operator. You will be asked questions to determine the nature of the emergency. This may include symptoms and medical conditions of the person that needs help. You will be asked the location of the emergency. This may include street name, direct directions and landmarks to guide the ambulance to the location where help is needed. You will be asked to provide a number that we can call back in case the call is dropped or in case more information needs to be collected. Not all emergencies are the same. Please provide as much information as you can so that we can provide the best assistance for the situation. Please continue to follow the media for more promotional messages about this emergency service provided by the Alexandra Hospital. Honorable Mark Brantley, Premier of Nevis, says his government intends to agitate for hotels, restaurants and supermarkets on the island to purchase food from local farmers and producers. While addressing the Nevis Ministry of Agriculture's annual planning symposium, Agenda 2021, Mr. Brantley recognized hotelier Mr. Richard Lupinacci, proprietor of the Hermitage Inn in Nevis, as a friend of local agriculture commended his business for utilizing local products on their menu and calling on other businesses to emulate this practice. He says there needs to be a new way 
of thinking in terms of approach to ensure that our people support local farmers so that they will no longer have the problem of producing food which rots because they have no market. In that regard, Mr. Brantley says the Davis Island administration is very serious about talking to the hotel, restaurant, and supermarket owners to impress on them that once the product is available locally, it has to be given first preference. He says he does not see any difficulty with them following the example of the Hermitage Inn and that visitors to the island would actually like to taste what is produced on the island because of their superior quality. Stressing the need for those in the tourism sector and the general public to purchase local food to support local growers and producers, thereby helping to keep the economy afloat. He believes that farmers look to farming for their livelihood to feed their families and to send their children to school. And the only way they could succeed is if we as a people buy their produce. Mr. Brantley said it irks him to see some standard produce being sold in the supermarkets ahead of locally sold fruits and vegetables. However, he remains hopeful that in his lifetime, the people of Davis will get to a point where they will substitute most of the imported food items and start buying and eating local. And that's it for this edition of the Davis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bonte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.